Hello and welcome to another episode of She's Got Legs. I'm your host, Caitlin Henderson, and definitely not 10 spiders in a trench coat. The allegations are false, but flattering. This may shock and horrify some viewers, but apparently spiders aren't the only arachnids worth knowing about. There's other cool ones, like whip scorpions and normal scorpions, and apparently raisins with pipe cleaners glued to them, which some people call harvestmen. Harvestmen may look like some spiders, but they're in their own distinct order, the Opiliones, and it's estimated there could be more than 10,000 of these species worldwide if we ever got around to discovering them all. They have two body parts, but it looks like they're melted together into this single blob with a pair of like googly eyes sticking out the top. They can be pretty plain little dudes that are like 90% leg, but they can also have spectacular armored bodies, crazy spines, absolutely mad petty palps, and ridiculously oversized calissary. Some of these face decorations can look pretty dangerous, but harvestmen don't have venom and like only rarely prey on human children. To eat, they rip and crush food with their calissary and often hold it in their tiny petty palp hands. There's also other uses for harvestmen face bling, and that's combat. In some groups, males fight for the right to party by having very undignified, slappy, punchy fights with their weaponized calissary. Males can also have really strong, chunky petty palps that they use during mating to hold the female in position, and then later on to open jars. Harvestmen are largely ambush predators of smaller bugs, sitting and waiting for prey to wander too close to their super long, outstretched legs, but they can also have pretty versatile diets. They can also eat plants, fungi, and generally scavenge gross stuff, but they can even steal food from other predators, like tiny little jerks. One of the ways they can find food is by sniffing it out with their legs. They have nose legs. Well, they have hairs that function as chemoreceptors on their legs, which is nose legs. One of the coolest thing about harvestmen is that they can be excellent parents, and it's the dads that can really be the hero here. In one species, the male builds a nest for the female to lay her eggs in, and then he'll stand guard over it until the eggs hatch, and mom just like buggers off. There is another species where the female glues her eggs to the male's legs, so he literally can't shirk his parental duties, which isn't so much an example of being a good dad as it is female ingenuity. I recently found in a tropical Australian species, parents look after their children by allowing them to ride on their backs. Here's dad being an absolute legend. I'll talk more about this in a future video because I'm really excited about it. So if you've been looking at these spindly harvestmen and going, wait, that's the daddy long legs. You're partially not wrong. Depending on where you live, a daddy long legs could be a harvestman, a spider, or a crane fly. Harvestman is also a pretty weird name in itself, and there's a lot of cool folklore behind these guys. There was a myth that they helped you bring in the crops with like tiny farm equipment, so it was bad luck to kill them. They're also called shepherd spiders because apparently European shepherds used to stand on stilts to watch their flocks, which is amazing, and I want some. And their order name, Apiliones, means shepherds. So if you ever have some sheep get out of hand, I guess now you know who to call. Thanks for watching She's Got Legs. We're funded entirely by our super awesome supporters at Patreon. So check it out and sign up if you want to be as cool as they are. And I'll put a link to the Patreon and my other social media channels in the video description. Also, there's so much more bug coming your way. So hit subscribe if you don't want to miss it.